And back here on a Tuesday morning, this is Cooper Company Live, getting ready to ask him. I do want to remind you, you can also pick up the newest edition of Who's Who in Athens featuring Mayor Dan Williams on the cover at the mayor's office. He has mm -hmm. plenty of magazines down there. Like Gloria said, you can go by the chamber and get them. I delivered a whole bunch to Pat yesterday, but the mayor would be the easiest place to drop in and get one or stop by Coleman Dental. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know there's plenty there also or will be later Courtesy. on this week. But First time lenders. Read all about it. And like Gloria said, 10,000 go in the mail this week. So if you don't get one in the mail, we want to hurry up and get one. And thank all you people complimenting, yeah. too, about the magazine because it is, despite uh, the mayor there, it did look pretty <laughs> doggone good. That's the best I've ever seen him oh, look. Oh, he looks great. Tell you what, he and his sons yeah. did a great job singing Saturday morning, too. Yeah. So we'll... All right, moving on from that, and it's good to have you back up here on the program. So I've been loaded up for stuff mm -hmm. with you. Oh, boy. Take time out now on a Tuesday morning, as always, to do a Ask Ann segment. Ann. I got this there. A husband wrote in and said that he is mad because he does everything at home and his wife's mm -hmm. out having an affair. And what he is mad about, Ooh. he can't believe mm -hmm. that their friends together who knew about it didn't tell him about it. And he's blaming the friends on the infidelity. Should a friend... Mm -hmm. Tell the spouse that, hey, your husband or your wife is cheating on you. Mm -mm. No. Then why do you say that? They ain't good friends then. You have to look at it like, did, would, would you tell on your best friend's wife? Would you tell tell wife? No. Mm. Does he have a point? He's saying the friends withheld. Everybody knew it but him. That's something you don't get involved in personal business. You don't get involved in folks' business like that. No, they 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 business to tell. I can see if now if the shoe was on the other foot, would he tell? If if he was in if the other he's person saying was, he would. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. That's something you have to really sit there and think about. Yeah. And then you got to think about. Is they going to blame you for telling them? And how many times does it happen that you tell someone and then they get they mad get at you? Together yeah. And you lose a friendship. Yeah. It'd have to be a dear friend, and I would tell them in a heartbeat if it was a dear friend. Yeah. What if you're friends of both of them? Well, then, you know, I'll talk to both of them, but wrong is wrong. So you wouldn't tell? Mm. Because you, got, you can get messed up like that telling, you know, some folks don't take heed to you telling them anything mm -hmm. about their relationship with nobody. They be like, oh, you just meddling in my business. I don't care how good of friends you are. You know, you have, and then if they bust up, you bust them up for telling it, and then they get back together, you, have, you done lost the friendship because they ain't going to, you know, they ain't going to trust you to tell, you know, and talk to you. The confidence is gone. They'll blame you. No, you have to look at it. Mm -mm. All right. On that same token, <laughs> is it possible for a man to be friendly with a woman to discuss things like that without having an affair with her? Yeah. I don't believe you. I do. I don't. I, I, I don't. have. I don't believe it. Well, I don't care. <laughs> you can do it. What makes you think that a guy say, and I know you've told me stories, you are good friends with a man He's yeah. married to somebody else, and you know he's cheating on her. So what? I, you're not going to tell her? It ain't my business. It is your business. It ain't. You've made it your business I by being made sitting there and, and, my and talking. Business. What? I ain't made nothing my business. No, I ain't going to tell it. What am I going to tell it for? Well, why are you conversing with this man? That ain't conversing yeah, I, with I, nothing. It's, it's having an emotional affair <laughs> no, with it. So you think not, it's all right to get no, on the Internet and go back not, and forth with somebody no, on email? Not. No, it's You're not. You're wrong, Ann. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, you are. No, Jamie, no. I'm not telling nobody nothing because, look, I would have been in the same situation. So my friends didn't tell me. I had to find out the hallway. So, no, I ain't telling nothing. And you took matters into your own hands. Sure did. <laughs> and, uh, and will again. You no. can't go busting through people's windows carrying a tire iron and threatening to hurt somebody. <laughs> Evidently, man. you can. <laughs> you lucky you ain't in jail. It is lucky. I am lucky. <laughs> I, I really am. I really am. You know. You know, I think. I'm you, like, you know what? I'm lucky about a lot of things because. You, you need know anger what? management. I'm, yes, I do. But you know what? You know, I just repossessed a lot of stuff lately, you know. Now, How'd that go? It went good to me. <laughs> but, uh, Wait a minute, you repossessed 
stuff from your former, can I say it, former fiancé, mm -hmm. who I was going to get to be best man. He missed you out. go into his house with his girlfriend there. I don't give a rat's tail. And you took <laughs> stuff that belonged to you while Thank he you. and both of them are in the house. And do you think they said anything to me? No. I wouldn't say a word to you, Ann. <laughs> My brother and did knock up the on couch. the door. <laughs> you didn't knock on the door. No. You don't live there. He could have had you arrested. He can't have me arrested. Baby, I got the keys. Don't want to put my name and address on that darn apartment. And you repoed all his stuff. Everything. Almost a whole darn house. I'm guessing the engagement's off. What engagement? We never <laughs> was engaged no way. You the one said that. I told you I didn't want no husband. Oh, my. No. When's the last time you had a date? No, no, um, your business. I ain't asking you. Not up your business. Uh, another day. Who was it? I know you're being. Let me ask you one other quick story here. Mm. I got another story Great, here. A woman says they've been married for only a month, but her husband's perfect except he ain't that good when they go to bed at night and she has to think about her ex oh. to enjoy the relationship. Honey, you and gone. the question is, should she tell him? <laughs> Well, <laughs> sometimes you have to think about Ooh. somebody else that's going to help your own self out. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Is that a fact? That's a fact. Sometimes you have to think about somebody else to help that situation out. And if they're that bad, why are you with them to start with? Yeah. Maybe it ain't all about the sex. Everything's it about is. sex. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, I would have saved a whole lot of money if I'd have known that earlier. <laughs> Amen. This has been another edition of Ask Ed.